Tom Fox, staff photographer Dallas Cowboys running back Ezekiel Elliott, 21, cuts back against Los Angeles Rams inside linebacker Corey Littleton, 58, during the fourth quarter of their NFC Divisional Playoff game at Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum in Los Angeles, Saturday, January 12, 2019. The Cowboys lost 30-22. Tom Fox, the Dallas Morning News editor's note, this is a first in a five-part series looking at ways to fix the Cowboys' offense heading into the 2019 season. Part 2 will publish on Monday, February 18th. A comeback was underway. The Cowboys were on the move and found themselves on LA's 35-yard line to open the final quarter. Dallas trailed by 8 points score on this possession and the franchise would have a chance to advance past the divisional round for the first time since the mid-90s. Did the Cowboys rise to the occasion on this fourth one? No. They plunged Ezekiel Elliott into the teeth of the Rams' defense. He was stopped for no gain. LA took over and went on a 65-yard scoring drive twice the outcome. This play epitomizes a lack of creativity that frustrates critics inside and outside the organization. If your talent is superior to your opponent, by all means line up and beat them physically. Impose your will. Make the game about simple execution. The talent is so evenly dispersed in the NFL, how many teams can truly thrive with that bedrock philosophy? Rather than telling a player to beat the man across from him, why not draw up something schematically to help him do it? A conservative offensive approach doesn't have to equal a disdain for creativity. An emphasis on protecting the ball doesn't mean a team must go into an offensive shell. There are acceptable risks. An offense can be disciplined while still retaining an air of unpredictability. The Cowboys failed to strike this balance in 2018. That's why offensive coordinator Scott Linehan is gone and Kellen Moore, a novice with one year of coaching under his headset, will take over. More creativity doesn't mean an extreme makeover is on the horizon. It does mean a fresh approach and new look for the core principles of this defense. The problem the Cowboys have made it to the divisional round three times in the last five seasons. That's a good thing. This isn't, Dallas averaged 8 fewer points a game this season than it did in its trip during the 2014 season. The team averaged nearly 5 points fewer than the one that lost to Green Bay in the divisional round two years ago. The Cowboys averaged 21.2 points last season. The 10 teams that scored less all failed to make the playoffs. In a league where scoring is up, Dallas continues to go down. This group scored 20 fewer touchdowns than it did in 14, 20. Jason Garrett has presided over this offense for 12 years as a coordinator or head coach. Four of those teams averaged 25 or more points. There were 11 teams in the league that averaged more than 25 points last season. This offense isn't just out of step. It's a step or two behind. The solution Garrett talks about the need for balance. That's fine, but balance doesn't mean a team strives for a 50-50 split. True balance means a team can win by ground or by air. It means it can attack a defense however it needs. The Cowboys have leaned too heavily on the run to achieve true balance. Dallas likes to run to set up the pass. But there are games in which it must pass to set up the run. A reluctance to do that has hurt this offense. It's something more must do in his first season as play caller. Let's use the playoff game against LA as an example. The Rams passed 55.3% of the time and ran 44.7% of the time during the regular season. They came out against the Cowboys and ran 48 times while throwing only 28 passes. The Cowboys' blueprint for success has become too predictable over the last three seasons. It's predicated on establishing the run, then expanding to the pass to achieve balance to keep defenses on their heels. Moore's advantage is that no defensive coordinator can predict his tendencies. Those will unfold with the season. He must use that to the Cowboys' benefit early. 
a change of tendencies is a way to freshen up this offense. More can also incorporate more motion. This offense has become maddeningly stationary. Elliott emerged as the team's leading receiver in 2018. But too many of his 77 receptions began behind or at the line of scrimmage. He too often became the default target on third and long to pick up a few more yards before punting. Early in the season, the Cowboys hit Elliott for a 34-yard gain on a wheel route to set up the game-winning field goal against Detroit. How often did you see Elliott beat a defense down the field like that, in the final 12 games of the regular season? Not enough. That's another adjustment that could help this offense. Twitter, at David Mortem and declining returns to Cowboys offense has been going in the wrong direction. League offensive ranking season total rushing passing 2016-5223-2017-142-26-2018-22-1023 Scoring season total average 2016-48-126.1-2017-354-22.1 2016-48-126.1-2017-354-22.1 